Same exact thing. It's just subtraction. So you still have to find a common denominator. And you're going to do it the same exact way. So we'll just do a few on the front. Here's my mouse. There it is. And then we'll turn to the back. And we'll do some on the back. And then y'all can do some more on your own. You can mark out one and two, and we'll start on three. So, Brooklyn, I'll let you pick. I don't care which one you want to do. Three all the way to 16. 11. So here we go. 11 is 3 over 2 minus 7 twelfths. 3 over 2 minus 7 twelfths. We're going to start on 12 because that's the biggest denominator. <clears throat> Which 12 times 1 going to get me? Is 2 times something going to be 12? Yeah. Yes. So there's my new denominator. So on the top, Luke, how do I go from 2 to 12? What do I multiply by? Uh, six. Yes. And if I multiply the bottom times 6, Cooper? Mm -hmm. 18. you got to multiply the top times 6 and get 18. Good. The bottom's just going to stay the same because we're multiplying times 1. Easy. So 7 times 1 is 7. Yeah. Now, you know how I drilled that thing in your head? I was like, only add the tops. Leave the bottoms alone. Only add the tops. Leave the bottoms alone. Well, we're not adding. So let's see if I can say this with subtraction. Only subtract the tops. Leave the bottoms alone. It's harder. Only subtract the tops. Leave the bottoms alone. But literally, all you do is subtract these. So if, I, I mean, I don't care how you do it. If you want to slap your leg on 7 and count up to 18, that's how I would do it. That's how I've taught you to do it so far. So let's do that. Slap your leg on 7. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. What would you get? 11. 11 over what? 12. 12. There's your answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody kind of does it a different way. Okay, call in. Pick a number. 3 through 16. Uh, Say it again. Eight. 8. They were nice. They already gave us a common denominator on 8. So all we got to do is figure out the top number. So call in on this top fraction. How do we go from 3 to 6? What do we multiply by? Two. So put a times 2 right there in the middle. Keep it going, Jake Lee. If I multiply the bottom times 2. I multiplied the bottom times 2. What do I have to do to the top? 2 times 2 is 4. You're exactly right. Keep it going. Kaden, how do I go from 2 to 6 on the bottom? 3. Times 3. Keep it going, Hope. If I multiply the bottom times 3. Go ahead multiply the top times 3. What do you get? You get 5. No. 1 times 3? Three? 3. 3. Now, all I have to do is subtract the tops. So 4, 6 minus 3, 6 would be 1, 6. Because all you have to do is subtract 4 minus 3 and get 1, and your bottom stays the same. Shake your head if this is like, oh my gosh. The only difference is we're subtracting. That's the only difference. Pick a number, Laney, 3 through 16. 12. 12, 6 sevenths minus 1 half. Which depends on 7 because that's the biggest denominator. Well, is 2 times anything ever going to be 7? No. Why? Because it's, it's odd number and these are only going to have even numbers, aren't they? So let's go to the next 7. What would 7 times 2 be? 14. Is that going to work? Yep. Why? Because 14 is what? <laughs> even. So 14 goes here, 14 goes here. Bentley on the top fraction, how do we go from 7 to 14? What do we multiply by? times 2. So Brooklyn, if we multiply the bottom times 2, 12. Good job. Colin on the bottom, how do we get from 2 to 14? Seven. Times, seven. times 7. And if we multiply the bottom times 7, guys, we're going to multiply the top times 7, so 1 times 7 is 7. seven. So all you're going to subtract is the 12 minus 7. Yep. 12 minus 7 would be Four. what? Five. Five, it's going to be like a fraction. Five fourteenths. There's your answer. Five fourteenths. Okay. I'll do one more. Luke, pick a number. Three through sixteen. Uh, let's do 
14, 13 sixteenths. Minus one fourth. Get your pencil on 16. So what's 16 times one gonna get me? 16. Well, is four times something gonna get you 16? Yeah. Yes, so let's use it. There's no reason to go bigger. So the top stays the same. We're literally just multiplying times one. So 13 16 stays at 13 16. Now here on the bottom, how do we go from four to 16 though? What do we multiply by? Four. 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 And if you multiply the bottom times four, you're gonna multiply the top times four, so one times four is four. four. And you're only gonna subtract the top. So if you need to slap your leg on four and count up to 13, that's fine. Let's do that. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. What'd you get? Nine. Nine, nine <laughs> sixteenths. Good. That's all I'm doing on the front. Number 17. You're going to write and solve an equation. You might need to underline that. That means we got to have an X or a Y or a Z or something. you got to have a letter in it. And what are we going to find? What word does this mean right here? Difference. What does that mean? We're going to subtract. These are subtraction equations. And what are we going to subtract? The location of, what does this say? Point A and point B over here on the ruler. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. First off, we're going to start at zero. Everybody watching? We're going to end at 1, so this would be the halfway mark right here. Do you understand that? Does everybody, why, why, how did I know that was the halfway mark? Because that line was about the longest, okay? It's not as long as these, but it's longer than everything else. So everybody agree that that's um, the halfway mark. So let's start counting right here, and let's just see how they've cut this ruler up. We're not going to start counting on 0. We start counting on the very next line, okay? So get your pencil on the very next line. And let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's stop right there. Are you on the halfway mark? You should be. So if eight's the halfway mark, how long is all of this? 16. So in other words, we cut the ruler on sixteenths. Are you with me? So let's go back to, well, let's actually just start on the halfway mark. That's not eight. That's Eight sixteenths. So what would the next line be? Nine sixteenths. Keep going. Ten sixteenths. Eleven sixteenths. Twelve sixteenths. Then what's point A? Thirteen sixteenths. So there's your first fraction. That's point A. Now what did this tell us we're going to do? What does the word difference mean we're going to do? We're going to subtract. So now we got to find point B. So go back to zero. What would the very next line be? Don't say one because one is way down here. One sixteenth, keep going. Two sixteenths, three sixteenths, four sixteenths. So there's that. Now this has to be an equation. So what do I put right here, you know? Tell me. Z. Now, if you pick Z, remember, put a line in it, because if not, it's going to look like kind of like a 2. Yep. Okay, so, didn't we just do this? Didn't we just count from 4 up to 13? What do we get? Uh, well, let's do it again. Here we go. Slap your leg on 4, and we're going to count up to 13. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. What did you get? 9. 9 sixteenths. So, there's your answer. Z equals 9 sixteenths. You can't just give me the top number. You have to give me the top and the bottom. Got it? Say got it. Okay, that's so important. Number 18. Number 18 says write an addition and a subtraction equation. So I've got to have two equations. So look at this. Who wants to do the addition equation? You want to do the addition equation? Okay. Tell me what to add. Uh, one point Here we go. Plus 
3a. Equals what? Uh, a. A. Okay, now somebody else tell me what to do. Pick somebody who, who hardly ever get, like talks. Pick someone. Uh, Hope. Hope. Tell me what to do, Hope, right here. How do I solve 1 fourth plus 3 eighths? 1 fourth plus 3 eighths. You would multiply. We're not multiplying. Well, maybe we are. Multiply what? Multiply the 4 in the. Why would we start here? I thought we started on the biggest denominator. Hey, do you have this written on your paper? Okay, we never start on the lower denominator. From the first time I met you guys, I told you we always start on the top, on the biggest denominator, and this happens to be on the bottom. Is everybody tracking? And I even said, put your pencil there and don't move it. Remember that? So keep your eight there, keep, or keep your pencil on the eight, don't move it. So now we're gonna multiply eight times one. What's eight times one gonna get me, class? Eight. eight. Is four times anything gonna get me eight? Yeah. Yes, so there's no reason to go higher. What do I do next, Lainey? Find out what Are you up here? Yes. Okay. Times two. Times two. And if you multiply the bottom times two? You gotta add the bottom. You gotta not add, you multiply. multiply. Yeah? Xander, what about the bottom? Because you don't even have this written on your paper. So I wanna know who has this written on their paper that can do it for me. Tell me. Eight times eight is I mean, eight times one. Eight, eight times three. one, so that means that stays the same. Now what do I do, Jakely? Because I'm adding this time. This was an addition equation. Add the top of and what do you get? Five. five eighths. So your A is five eighths. So up here where that it used X, but it's okay that we used A. Right? Five eighths right there. Now I need a subtraction equation. Now let's think about this. This is how subtraction works. Hey, subtraction starts with the big number, then it takes some away and ends up with another number. So Bentley, I would love to hear from you. Mmm, one fourth isn't the big number. Mm, this is the big number. Look, when we added those together, we got a big number. So this is where you need to start. I'll give you a hint. This is where you need to start. Subtract a bind, she wants to do three eighths, okay. Mm -hmm. Equals what? Equals what? Okay. Or X or Y or Z. Now, what is that going to leave me? The numbers are already up there. We don't even have plus. I mean, we already have common denominators. So whenever we subtract 5 eighths minus 3 eighths, what are we going to get? 2 eighths. Uh, I thought I was going to get 1 fourth. Y'all tell me 2 eighths. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Y'all tell me 2 eighths. Now, why are you changing your mind and saying yep? Because it's too even. Because those are both even. And when you divide them both by 2, what do you get? One fourth, so you are right. Okay, tricky. You can mark out 19 and you can mark out 21 as well. And let's just do 20 without using paper and pencil. Uh oh. If we can't use paper and pencil, what do we use? Right. Our noggins. What do they want us to find? Uh, what does this word mean? Sum. What does sum mean to do? Uh -huh. Add 9.8 and 2.6. If I were you, I would think of this like money. So what do you think we should put on the end right off the bat? Zero. zero. So this is what I would do. I would add that zero right off the bat. Okay, now watch. I'll write it with paper and pencil, not you because you're not supposed to do this. Okay, now if this was money, is everybody watching? If this is money, this is what Miss Coffett would do. I would add the whole bucks, and then I would add the coins. Yeah. Then I would put those together, okay? So let's just start with the whole bucks. What's nine bucks and two bucks gonna get you? Okay, now we're at 11 bucks. 
What's 80 cents and 60 cents going to get you? A dollar. A dollar 40. So what would 11 bucks and a dollar 40 more bucks be? $12 and 40 cents, but it was never money. So what do you think I should take off the end? The zero. So what's your real answer? 12.4. There's your answer. Okay, the bottom's harder, and it's going to take you a couple of tries, and I'm going to be honest, I had a kid last hour get really mad at me because I didn't give him the answer, and I'm not going to give you the answer. I'm going to make you do it. So like on number 23, it wants you to pick two of these, try them here, and see if you get the final answer here, and I'm giving you a major hint. This is not going to be the first two that you, that you put in the box. You're going to have to do it a couple of times. So this is what I would do if I were you. I would set, take this and I would multiply this. Or excuse me, I don't know why I said multiply. Subtract. And if I don't get this, watch me Bentley, then I would do this minus this. And if I don't get this, then I would do this minus this. And if I don't get this, then I would do this minus this. And I'm giving you a hint, 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 hint. It's going to take you about four or five or six or seven tries to find the answer. And then if I still don't get the answer, watch what I'm going to do next. Is everybody watching? I'm, then I'm going to start on this number. And I'm going to say this minus this. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to say this minus this. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to say this minus this. It's going to take you some tries. You're like a math detective today, okay? And, of course, I'll help you, but, I mean, he wanted me to give him the answer. And he got mad at me. And I'm like, uh, why are you getting mad? Because you don't want me to give you the answer? I mean, or because you want me to give you the answer? I'm not going to do that. I'll help you, but I'm not going to tell you what the answer is, okay? So you got the front. You got those two. And you got a practice buddy that's due on Friday, okay? Go. I'm going to do this.